Hello YouTube and happy Monday. It's me, Fruit Guru, with another War of the Visions video, and today I'm going to be talking about the faith mechanic. So, to preface uh, what inspired me to kind of do this, I got my Freyavia to Limit Break 5 today, which I'm super, super chuffed about. I didn't think I was going to make it. I got very, very lucky with some 10 packs uh, the last few days, and just about got in there in time. I think I have a day left, but uh, oof, I'll tell you, uh, I don't know if I'm going to be doing this again uh, with limited units as, as hard as I went on this. But anyway, getting her to Limit Break 5 means that she is going to be one of the units that I use a lot, and part of that is maxing the Bravery and the Fate. So in my other video you would have seen that the Bravery and Fate were at 70. This is because that's the maximum that the Barracks can bring it up to. If those of you who don't know, uh, the Barracks, you can put your characters in it, You can the Bravery will always go up, up to a soft cap of 70. The Faith, you can decide if it wants to go up or down. Um, with your tanky units, like your Monts, your Engels, you, you don't particularly want high Faith. Uh, the more Faith you have, the more magic damage you deal, but it's also a double-edged sword because you take more of the magic damage as well. Fryevia. I decided I'd max the Faith. She has a lot of magic resist in the tree. I may possibly end up bringing this down a little bit, but for now I want her to do a bit more damage. So that's why I've, I've brought the Faith up. It'll also affect her healing should I put her in White Mage if full life fix ever comes along. Uh, so yeah. Right, so the um, rules for this test. What did we do? Obviously we started off with a Bravery of 70 and a Faith of 70. We had a Blizzaga Blade, which was at the time level 11. So you're not going to see big numbers here if you're looking at the, this video to kind of see Fryevia kick off and, you know, smash everything. You're not going to see that. It's going to be very, very basic, uh, to be honest with you. Uh, the numbers aren't going to be impressive, but I'm hoping you'll see the actual difference between uh, the investment of putting, you know, 30 or 40 minutes into manually raising fate up to the soft cap. Uh, against not doing it. I have seen a good few questions regarding fate on discords I'm on and reddits, uh, particularly with all the new players joining, so I hope this kind of clears up a few things for you. So to start with, uh, how we actually raise faith, I guess, is probably the best uh, way to go. So I find you're probably going to be doing two of these in tandem. You're going to be doing fate and bravery at the same time. So the best mission for this is you go into chapter 4, scene 2, and we pick this mission here, good idea. Good idea to do this, self-explanatory, easy to remember. Uh, as you can see, I've got three units on deck here. Uh, it's a low level thing, so I don't, I don't, not too bothered about optimal gear or whatnot. I think I've just pretty much mashed anything on. Um, the Mediana's job here is to use her ult limit break at the start and kill all but two of the enemy units. Fryevia is obviously going to be picking up all the crystals and Fina's job is to buff her faith with cheer. So if you don't have a Fina um, you can grab one from the companion list. What I like to do is I like to get my Fina, I get her cheer up to level 11. That's the minimum level you need it to be to have a permanent increase. How the faith buff works is it rounds uh, it down by approximately a quarter of what you've received in battle. So if you have gained uh, 12 additional faith in battle, you're probably going to walk out with plus 3 to your permanent stat. This goes up to 97, uh, you can't get it past that unless you actually use a buff in the battle and it'll temporarily go up to 100. So I've got my Fina with my level 11 cheer. Uh, I particularly tried to grab uh, companions that had uh, Finas. <laughs> A lot of people have like really fancy units, you can see all these Tancreds, these Engelberts, there's Ramses, but this guy here, can't pronounce his name for obvious reasons, but he's got a nice level 89 Fina. Uh, I like to just quickly check uh, the spec. And we got a White Mage of Lapis, that's fine, uh, and I go into the battle. So. Apologies if this takes a few seconds to load. As I'm always saying, my computer is not uh, not the fastest at the moment. But once we get in, you'll get an idea very quickly of how this works. If you don't have a Mediana, you can use a Yishitola uh, if you pulled that back in the day. Uh, if not, you know, there's other options. You, you have um, 
and anything that basically does big AoE. It doesn't really matter if you don't kill everything at once. Uh, this isn't going to be a quick job, but as you see here, we're going to go and we're going to Cosmo clean these. Boom, boom, boom. And I should have turned off the animations. Apologies. But anyway, smash, smash. I'm then going to use her in the next turn to uh, take out the archer with a blizzard. Uh, I generally kill this uh, guy on my side here because he uh, <laughs> can kind of mess us up. Oops, that's not what I wanted to do. Sorry, the Zyga Blade on him. And we're going to confirm. Yada, yada, yada. And then from there, we're going to use our two Finas just to buff um, our unit that we want to get the faith up with this cheer buff here. So we throw that on her. We're going to do that six times in total, three with each. Uh, I bring the Mediana then back into this group here, so she kites the one remaining unit. You do have to be kind of cautious that the uh, unit that you leave alive doesn't pick up the crystals on you, or you're going to have to do more runs, which is a pain. So I just kind of go here, uh, I pick my blizzard, take out the archer, and then I'll be running it back. Uh, and I'll be taking this once it's fully buffed up and around the corner just so not to pull aggro and I'll pick up all the crystals and that's that. So that's the process there. Now let's actually have a look at some numbers now that we know what we're doing. So the first time I tested this I had the level 11 Blazaga blade, we had 70 fate and I just kind of popped it on the preview for the unit beside me. So you can see here, uh, it was going to do 2,566 damage to this guy at fate level 70. So, you know, seems like a nice chunk, you know. Uh, the guy is severely underleveled compared uh, to us. He's also weak against us, so don't really uh, pay much attention to that number itself. Uh, but just keep in mind, 2566. After I got the faith up to 97, uh, and I tested it again under the same parameters, you can see this has gone up to 3... 1,144. That's a significant jump. That's actually about 22% uh, increased damage, which, you know, that's... I have a level 89 um, Federica's Dream card for my Gunners. That gives a party boost of 26% more shooting uh, or missile damage. So, you know, this is almost the equates of a high, a high level UR uh, card, so definitely worth doing. Um, just have a look at the mats here, I guess, if I turn oop, this on, uh, we kind of see here, this is the, the formula I used, uh, so it's a 22.5% uh, increase, very, very respectable. So it is worth doing this, it's boring, it is really, really boring, it takes about half an hour to 40 minutes, depending on how quick you are clicking around. Uh, the reason why I only bring in the necessary units is because I don't want to be bringing in units uh, just for the sake of having to skip their turns, there's not much point. So try to keep it down to four units minimum. Um, but let's just see the importance of this, right? Because this was what I wanted to test. The meta right now, obviously, is very, very heavy Gunner Ranger, uh, and it's quite nasty. So let's just turn these off. Boop, 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 and boop. And We'll go back into good idea since it's, it's kind of open there. And let's get rid of our Fina. And we're going to take in our level 99 Lucia. Probably one of the biggest pains in the ass to deal with right now. Um, her equipment that I have, you know, she's, she's pretty high up. She's not completely min maxed. I do have a level 10 Resonance 67 Odin on her. Uh, I generally. Well, I'd probably have something like this on her, not exactly this, but you know, it's a, a high level of vision card, you know, respectable enough. And you, you're not going to come across a, a Lucia much stronger than this, obviously. I'd say this is probably a little bit ahead of average uh, at the current time of recording. Uh, but worst case scenario, you're going to come up against something like this, right? So let's go into the battle and let's actually have a look at the impact on this uh, change. So again, apologies for the load time. Doopy doopy doo. Get in there eventually. And let's just pretend we're in auto arena at the moment. Or we're in, you know, our guild battle. So we'll skip the turn. Let's run up beside her. Oop. 
and so she's going to use her stronger skill if she's in the range, which is most of the time going to be with the Zaga blade if you've kind of built everything. Uh, and what can we see? It's 3,218 damage. My Lucia has 3,056 health, so we can one-shot her, which is huge. Now, okay, we have the elemental advantage and all that, what you know, whatever. But if we didn't max that faith. We wouldn't be we'd be doing about 22% less damage, and that wouldn't be enough to kill her. And one turn Lucia can just decimate your team, you know, especially with the current map in, in guild uh, battles. I mean, if she uses split shot, that, that can potentially kill two or three units outright if they're squishy enough, you know, or if they've lost a little bit of health. So, you know, you just wanted to get her out of the way as fast as possible. So one shotting is huge in this game. So we, we, we've basically removed the situation, you know, where this Lucia is going to sharpshoot my Medi uh, and kill her, or you know she's going to she's going to do something nasty, and we've completely gotten around that, which is nice. So it's really, really, really important to spend the 30 or 40 minutes and do this. I guess is what I'm trying to say. Uh, yeah, it's boring, but you can see the numbers don't lie. The payoff is worth it. Uh, so with that said, then I don't want to kind of go on to this too much. It's it's a bit of a boring subject. I just want to kind of drive it home that uh, this is something you all kind of need to do. Uh, only with your magic damage units, you know. Don't don't be doing this with your mods or your angles. You know, there's specific times where you might raise uh, a unit's faith higher uh, to give them a, a higher chance to get the full life res. But most of the time, as a rule of thumb, you know, you're going to just be doing it on your your magic damage dealers. So with that said and done, uh, I think I'm going to cut it here. I hope that's been helpful. Uh, I hope kind of actually seeing the numbers and seeing the impact it's going to have on your game is going to motivate you to, to, to kind of get your ass off and, and, and do this. <laughs> uh, best of luck anyway, and until next time, take care. Uh, best of luck again with your pulls this week, and uh, happy hunting. See ya!